Okay, my name is Arti and we are going to solve practice problem 4.13 from study book. And the question is determine the value of the load resistance here, RL, that will draw maximum power from the rest of the circuit. And here is some hint. So maximum power transfer happens when the load resistance is equivalent to the Thevenin resistance. So what we need to do is to replace the rest of the circuit here with its Thevenin equivalent and find out uh, the resistance. So let's name this terminal A and this as terminal B. So we are going to find out the Thevenin equivalent circuit at terminal A and B. And I will use the, this not B here as our ground or reference voltage. So the voltage here will be zero. Okay, now to find the Thevenin equivalent, we need to find the first the open circuit voltage. And then we need to find the Thevenin resistance. But here, we only need to find the Thevenin resistance first to find the load resistance. But there is the second question, uh, how much is the power? And how much is it? Okay, so we still need to find the Thevenin voltage. Okay, let's do that. So the Thevenin voltage first, we will find out. I will need to find out the Thevenin voltage or VTH, which is open circuit voltage here. So I will just take out this resistor and we calculate the voltage here. Okay, let's name this node here as, what is it? Let's name this as node B. So we will do nodal analysis at node B. So I will assume the current to node B going here and this current that passed through this resistance is going down, but if we take a look at that side, this resistor is not connected anywhere, so there is no current that going there. Okay, so we only have two currents here, this one and this one. Okay, so let's do KCL at node P. And KCL said that the sum of the current that going in is equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The current that goes in is only this current, and this current is this node here minus this node, so 9 volt minus Vp divided by the resistance between them, which is 2 ohm, and the current that goes out is this one here which is Vp minus this node here and this node is 3Vx so I will have minus 3Vx and then we divide it by the resistance between them which is 1 ohm. Okay now Vx is here so Vx is the voltage between this node and this node. So we can rewrite Vx as 9 minus Vp. Okay, let's do that. So I'll have 9 minus Vp divided by 2 is equal to Vp minus 3 multiplied by Vx. Vx is 9 minus Vp. So you'll have 9 minus Vp divided by 1. Okay, now we can do simple algebra here. So I will have multiply both sides by 2. So I will have 9 minus Vp is equal to 2 Vp 
minus 6 multiplied by 9 minus VP. Okay, now let's do some simplification. This will be 2 VP minus this is 54 and plus 6 VP. This will be... Okay, let's move this to the left hand side so i will have 9 plus 54 and then i will have this move to the right hand side so i will have 2 vp plus 6 vp plus vp so i will have 63 is equal to this is 9 vp and vp will be 7 well, okay we have vp here with respect to the ground is 7 volt which is the same as the open circuit voltage here because no current that going through this resistor so vp is equal to the tefanin voltage so we found the tefanin voltage so we will have tefanin voltage is equal to 7 volt okay now let's save this value and erase this part and we need to find out the Tefanin resistance. Okay, now the second part will be find out the Tefanin resistance. So let's write that first. That is RT8. Okay and because we have dependent voltage source here we just cannot turn off all the sources so i will use the method where we find the short circuit current at a b so we shorted a b here and then we find out the current that passed through here so because this is shorted all the current will pass through here not pass through rl so we can just take it the rl out from the circuit and we just need to concentrate at this circuit okay so let's do nodal analysis again at node p so we'll have kcl at node p the current that goes in is this one so as before and the same as before 9 minus vp divided by 2 and that will equal to this current that going here which is vp minus this node which is 3vx divided by 1 plus this current that pass through here which is vp minus zero or vp divided by the resistance between this and this which is four okay now we need to work the vx the same as before we see that vx is nine minus vp so we can just substitute that so i will have nine minus vp over two is equal to vp minus three multiplied by 9 minus vp and then plus vp over 4 we can multiply all sides by 4 yeah 4 is okay so i will have 18 minus 2 vp is equal to 4 vp minus 12 multiplied by 9 minus vp plus vp okay so far so good so now let's do some simplification 18 minus 2 vp 4 plus vp it's 5 so i'll have 5 vp minus 12 multiplied by 9 is 108 and then plus 12 VP. Okay, now I will have this. Let's move this to the left hand side. So 18 
plus 108 and then 5 plus 12 is 17 so we'll have 17 VP and let's move this to the right hand side so I will have plus 2 VP and this one is 18198 yeah 198 is it true no it's not true this is 126 and then this will be 19 VP so we will have VP here will equal to One hundred and twenty six divided by nineteen, which is six point six three two. Okay, so we'll have six point six three two volt, and then so we will have the short circuit voltage at AB is VP divided by four. So I will have this value six point six three two divided by 4 which is the same as okay let's divide this by 4 1.658 1.658 ampere okay now let's find the Tevonin resistance which is the Tevonin voltage, so we'll have 7, divided by the short circuit voltage, short circuit current, sorry, so I will have 1.658 and I will have 7 divided by that number, which is 4.6. 222 ohm. So we have 4.222 ohm. Okay, so we will have the Tevonin resistance is equal to 4.222 ohm. Okay, now let's work with maximum power transfer. Okay, now I have Tevonin voltage and Tevonin resistance. Let's redraw the circuit. So I will have the voltage source here, which is 7 volt. And then I will have the Tevonin resistance here, which is 4.222 ohm. And we will have this as terminal A. And at the bottom, we will have this as terminal B. So we can we just need to connect this with the load resistance. So we'll have RL. Okay, maximum power transfer happens when RL is the same as Tevonin resistance. So we'll have RL is equal to that value there. Okay, now for the power. So we just need the power dissipated in this resistance, which is can easily be calculated using Ohm's law maybe. Okay, let's do this. So I will have this I, okay, and we just can calculate I with 7 divided by 4.222 plus 4.222, and I will have 7 divided by 4.222 plus 4.222 okay I will have the current that passed through this resistance is 0 
to eight to nine ampere and then we can calculate the power just based on the i so i will have i squared r which is this number here squared multiplied by the resistance so i will have the power dissipated at that resistor and also the maximum power transfer oh sorry that will be And I have this value 2.9015 Watt. So this is the power dissipated by the resistor where it draws maximum current from the circuit. Okay, so that is the final answer from for practice problem. 4.13 uh, hopefully i did not make any mistakes in the calculation let me know if i did in the comment and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you